Hey everyone, my name is Jethro, and I believe that everyone can draw. The best way to get better at something is to practice. So that's what we're gonna have a go at today. We're gonna try and fill this page with as many different characters as we can. Here's one that I did earlier. We've got all kinds of different characters. We've got pirates, we've got an astronaut and a dinosaur. To draw with me today, you'll need a pen and a page with some spots on. You can paint these yourself. I used watercolour, but you could also use colouring pencil or crayon or acrylic paint. Uh, if you want to, you can also download this sheet. There's a link in the description below, so you can download it and print it off. I like to use a felt tip pen, like that, but you can use whatever kind of pen you have around. This video is going to be a little bit longer than normal, but uh, we're going to fill this page up and have a lot of fun while we're doing it. Let's get started. I think one of the best things to do is just to start and not worry too much about, uh, about if the first one is going to be perfect or not, because the first one doesn't have to be perfect at all. Let's just draw a little character here. And this arms up cheering, it's one of my favourite poses, because he looks super happy. And then this person needs some hair. Got some little wavy hair coming all the way down there, and an ear there. And then we'll start with some stripes. Stripes and stripes, I like stripes a lot. And little boots as well. Hey, we've got our first character. Big, happy, smiley character. Let's do this one here. Let's start with the eyes. A little nose, a smile. Um, this would be um, girl. Little, little shoes. Maybe we should be waving at him. Like that. That hand be out with her thumb. And then she needs some hair. Kind of coming up like that. And maybe let's do spots on her dress. Perfect. Okay, let's do uh, this one here. This person. Maybe they're jumping for joy. They're so unbelievably happy. They cannot possibly contain themselves. He's got his leg up like that. And that leg there bent at the knees. And this is his elbow and his fist. And there's his arm and his fist. Um, and once again, he's hair is, is just going in all the directions because he's so incredibly happy. God, I'm not quite sure what he's so happy about. Maybe he's um maybe he's just scored a goal. Let's give him a little top there like that. And the number four is a, oh yeah. Some bits. Perfect. Okay, over here I think we've got uh, this person is a uh, strong nose there. They love taking pictures, but they're a little bit nervous. Maybe they've just seen something, something surprising. So I just did an upside down, um, an upside down super happy face for this kind of surprise. So it's that same line, but then rather than going underneath the other curve, I went over the top. Same line, over the top, and just just a small little mouth there because they're kind of oh, just a little bit surprised and he's standing still in, in place and as I say he likes he's an adventure photographer um, so he stood, stood still arms uh, legs straight uh, needs a little camera there's the camera um, one arm there and the hand there's the other arm Uh, and they need, oh, let's give this person a hat. Maybe they've been out in the cold. They've got a nice woolly hat. So there's the, the first bit of the woolly hat and then the knitted bits and a bottle at the top there, like so. Hey, pretty cool. And we obviously there's gonna be a coat, a zip. It's one of those puffy coats. 
it's fluffy at the bottom. Some little bits. There we go. Hey, so we've got our adventure photographer. Um, next up, we're gonna need. Um, what have we done? We've got super. We got super happy. Super excited. Smile. We've got surprise. Maybe we need someone who's really unbelievably angry. So I've gone for the the same super happy, super happy eyes. But once again, I'm going to do the surprised mouth. So you've got the same line as you would for, for a smile. And it's going to come up rather than down. And maybe this person's hair is standing on end to match. To match their being so incredibly furious. I wonder what they could be so angry about. And again, arms out hands in a fist form and maybe that leg there is ready to do some stomping everything's kind of a bit jaggedy when this person is really angry um let's give them uh let's give them a cool coat though Ooh, the coat's open there's the coat little pocket there and some boots as well hey perfect Okay, what if this person is really cold? It's got some eyes, got a nose, but when you're cold, maybe your like teeth start chattering. So maybe we can do like some kind of wavy mouth there. And I think you can portray a lot about a person by the, um, the clothes that you give them. So if we give this person a woolly hat, oh, I've just had another idea for a, for a cold person. Well, um, Draw that next, and a nice big bubble, same as before. There's some little hair sticking out. This. Maybe she's got. Um, the coat, but her legs are all wibbly, because they're all shaking. And uh, let's give them like a mug of something warm. It's not quite keeping her warm enough. There's that other hand. There. Now let's do that other cold person over here. But for this person, I want to give them one of those like hoods that's just super fluffy. So there's the, the hood coming round, just framing the face. There's the top of the hood. Needs even more fluff. And then let's give them the bottom of their jacket. Maybe it's fluffy on the bottom as well. Got to keep them warm. Again, that's one of those puffy jackets. Oh, maybe this person has a backpack. <gasps> that's a great idea. Well, there's like backpacks. There's the straps. There's one arm. There's the other arm. Maybe they're an Arctic adventurer. But it's just a little bit colder than they were prepared for. Oh, this person can need some big old boots. Okay, what else have we got? Um, we've got uh, happy. We've got shivery, angry. We've got... Um, Shocked, we could have uh, we'd have some kind of surprise. Little nose, <gasps> big old over a mouth. I wonder what, I wonder what she's surprised about. Maybe she's just seen a moose that would surprise me. So surprising she's leaning back on her feet. There are arms coming out in surprise as well. Maybe a vertical stripes. Oh, maybe this person can be quite sleepy. So they got their eyes closed. Um 
a little bit of a smile on their mouth, but they're very sleepy. Kind of hunched over, ready to go to bed. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm ready for, I'm ready for sleep. Let's give them a teddy bear though. Tucked underneath their arm. There's their teddy bear. And its arms as well. Perfect. And a little bit of a little bit of hair. Just lots of curly hair. Okay, we've got a few more spots left. Still plenty of expressions to go. How about we go for how about we go for feeling full? This person here has just finished the biggest dinner. He's eaten an awful lot. And they're really full of food. So full of it. He's rubbing his belly. Mm, I wonder what he had. Pasta bake fills me up. I love pasta bake. That's one of my favorite things. It's got a woolly jumper on as well. Two buttons just there and there. And just a little bit of tufty hair on the side. Tufty hair just there as well. Oh, well, so we've got, we've still got some yellow ones, red one, blue one, and we've got a green one here as well. Now, if you were feeling green, what might that look like? Maybe you feel quite unwell. So, and I think we can do a lot of feeling unwell with the mouth. Again, a wibbly mouth. Maybe this person is holding their belly because they don't feel well. Maybe they ate so much food that they're gonna be sick. Ugh. That'd be gross. Got wibbly legs, little foot, and their hair is just kind of coming down flat like that, apart from those two little spiky bits. And just a simple t shirt. Let's do it. It's a lot of fun drawing the angry ones. Let's do another angry one with spiky eye, with the angled eyes. Little nose this time. But this girl, maybe she's. Maybe she's lost her bear. And she just can't find it anywhere. Let's draw some nice pattern though. She might be angry, but she's still got a very cool pattern. Just like that, like that. Mm. Oh, we still got, still got some great ones that we could do. <gasps> Maybe this person is surprised because it's their birthday and they've just unwrapped the coolest present. It's also dinosaur fancy dress. Which is obviously the only only way to have a birthday party, really. There's the eye of the dinosaur. Super happy, and there's some teeth from the dinosaur costume, and the dinosaur costume's got a little nose as well, and. Obviously you have to, need to zip to get into the costume, but the dinosaur's got some cool stripes, like that. And then no dinosaur is complete without some spikes. Now I could do some spikes with the pen, but I really like doing it with a crayon, so I'm gonna find myself a crayon. One of the fun things about drawings, if you think of something cool, you can just do it, you can just give it a go. You don't have to, you don't have to stick with a pen or a pencil, you can, try out all kinds of fun things. So I'm just gonna use a red crayon there to add some spikes. 
And obviously, once I've finished these, I could spend some time colouring them in if I wanted to. Colouring all the characters. I think that's the perfect little addition. Okay, I've got a few spots left. Maybe this person is feeling cosy. Wrapped up in their blanket. They've got their hot chocolate. And they've had a lovely, lovely day. That's their blanket. Trailing behind them. Nice and cosy. <laughs> this person here, they're actually really bored. They got their eyes closed. And they're kneeling down. Hands on the knees. Just really bored, but he does have a little spaceship on his t shirt, which is pretty cool. Very short hair in here. Fun. Oh, right, only a few more spots to go. Maybe this person is. Shy. Is this person quite big eyes? Maybe they've gone pink because they're blushing. Give her some hair and then her dress. And she's holding her hands up. She's all surprised or shy. One leg. Another leg, and another foot, and then uh, a fun stripey pattern, but the stripes are made of dots. Are oh, the stripes or are they dots? Nobody knows. And then this one here, this person is confused, I think. Maybe he's trying to look at something that's far away. He's got one eye closed, trying to focus. Maybe he's just been he's confused because he's just been looking through a telescope. Here's the telescope. scratching his head. He can't quite make out what he's seen. Was it land? Oh, wibbly mouth for a confused look. And then I think some kind of hat. And a little bit of hair. Yeah, perfect. And a coat. Hey, perfect. We've completely filled this page. There is this spot here, but uh, yeah, let's do it anyway. I wasn't going to do it because um, I, I put his hand over him, but I think we can still we can still put a person here with a big smile. some cool hair. Doesn't matter if they overlap, it doesn't matter at all. And again, some stripes. Stripes are really fun. Hey, hey we did it. We completely filled this page with characters. We did some pretty great drawings today. 
we flexed our imagination muscles and filled a page with as many different spots as we could. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I had a ton of fun and I hope that you did too. I would love to see what you've drawn. You can email your drawings to me, hello at jethrowilson.com or send them to me on Instagram at jethrowilson. Look out, because there's going to be another How to Draw video coming this time next week.